Yo, what's going on guys? I'm here with another video and in today's video we're going to go over how to get XP in the Abyss Dungeon. To get it fast, basically uh, an XP video on how to level up faster or actually progress and get levels in the Abyss Dungeon. So what you guys are going to want to do is you're going to want to go into, um, if you guys have the 20, uh, so if you guys reach the floor in 20 or 21, I believe is the checkpoint. You guys should be able to do this pretty uh, fluently, depending on your level. That's depending on how fast you're going to level up. And basically, you guys are actually trying to get max level in the Abyss Dungeon. Then it's going to take you guys a minute. But I will say this. Um, so I don't know if you guys know, but they're in the Abyss Dungeon. They give you quests called Talent Quest. You see it on the top left of my screen. So once I kill this guy with an assault rifle, but I, I get 4 million, 4.2 million XP. So, right there, that's two levels for me. At, at my current level, that's two levels for me. And you're able to get these challenge quests every time you go into a different floor on the this dungeon. So, right now, I'm on the 31st or the 34th floor, I believe. So, I'm just going to show you guys right now. As you can see, I'm like 4 million past my mark for leveling up, for being level what 186 but there is like you know there is of course you know there's always that thing if you know do you have enough guns or do you have you know your stats right so i'm gonna show you guys my arfaces stats and i'm gonna basically guide you guys on what to do with your arfaces so one you don't want to use anybody else but your arfaces i mean the other ones they do you know help you out but I recommend you guys not giving her too much strength or dex. That's where your points are going to come from when it comes to you using skills. So I would max her INT once you guys get the chance. But of course, give her a weapon to shoot you. I would make it, you know, either two XP guns or a gun that you can give her a pistol and she can use her pistol and you know spam skills basically and have everybody with the best buff so she has nanotech crit form power field guard field so like I said for those skills you only need like you know pretty much guard field power field 231 INT gives you four and nanotech and crit form basically is your damage is always going to be scaled just because she has those on so I recommend you guys using your Arthasis and using your Arthasis as support. And the challenge request, like I said, that's a main part of you guys leveling up in a dungeon. I am doing the 34, I believe. So, of course, you know, these guys have more defense. You know, they have more attack power. They hit you harder. So if you guys aren't at this point, you guys can always do the lower level dungeons because you get challenge requests as soon as you start at this dungeon. So, yeah, I don't know if you guys have paid attention, but there's, you know, top left, you should see every floor you go to, on the top left, it will say challenge request, like I've said, and uh, that's basically where you get your XP from in the Abyss Dungeon, and that's just, that's, it's as simple as that, guys. All you have to do is have a gun of each, you know, basically have a, have a really strong gun, for basically every class, you know, shotgun, sniper, RPG, etc. So, like for me, I I basically keep all the. I won't say I keep certain ranks, but like of course, you know, lower rarity means less chips. You know, not as strong. So I just, you know, I do away with them. I sell them, and selling thing gets you nothing in here except for a little bit of money to unappraise and stuff. So. Don't feed into, you know, that aspect, you know, thinking that it actually gets you something it, it doesn't really. So, and after you do your challenger quest, you can actually just go back to spawn and go back in and do it again. I'll show you guys here. So you guys don't have to actually go through the whole dungeon or whatnot. You can actually farm XP like this really well. But depending on your level and how, like, good your guns are or how powerful they are, that depends on you know you being able to actually do this uh, watch this turn a lobby gonna grab a few levels off this
And guys, uh, one thing I want to address, I have not been uploading because I've been working on several videos and a lot of different content. And actually, you know, I was on YouTube trying to see what people actually covered because, you know, I just, I think of video ideas and I'm like, hey, I'm doing it or whatever. And I wanted to know what you guys are actually missing in all aspects so i found out that uh you know not a lot of people did every treasure quest every hunt quest you know things like that they're of course they're on google but i know some people you know they can you know they they can do better when it comes to visualizing and doing what someone else is doing and then doing it in their own way so i will show you guys like i'm gonna be uploading like a bunch of you know interesting creative videos where i'm doing you know missions and I'm going to have a list and a whole playlist for you guys to go down the list and get all the achievements for the game if that's what you so, you know, if, if that's what you really like, you know, if you like getting achievements and I'm going to do that for you guys. I'm also going to be uh, starting to upload uh, uh, PSO2, uh, Fantasy Star Online 2 uh, videos. So if you guys are fans of that, well, you know. Well, there you go. I'll be doing, you know, leveling and XP stuff on there. If you guys haven't tried it, it's an MMO. It's, uh, you know, it's way more MMO than this game. And, you know, I, I recommend trying it out. I mean, it's not everyone's cup of tea. Of course, you know, not everyone likes the same games. But I'm just giving you guys a heads up that I will still be doing SAO content as long. And I will also be putting a lot of time into Fantasy Star Online 2. But I, I still will, you know, hop on daily on this game, you know, help a few people out, you know, and like I said, I, I'll be I'll be back on the daily upload soon. This is just, you know, somebody asked for it and I'm like, you know, no one covered it. So I'm like, OK, bet, you know, and that's what the guy said. The guy said no one else did it. So I'm like, OK, you know, because when, you know, that's what I think about YouTube. I don't really I do it. I won't say I do it for fun, but I do it to help people and that's pretty much all I do on this game. Like I've, I've, I've told you guys this before, and you guys know this. So, uh, I missed my buffs. Let's see if I can do this without buffs. Kirito, stop. See, that's why you put them on do not attack, by the way, too. And I mean, if you guys want to do something even better than what I'm doing, you guys could actually, like, put on all support people or, like, people to heal and put them on prioritized heal. And hopefully they just don't take your kills like Kirito does, but Kirito definitely takes my kills. Ah, oh, come on. Why are you jumping off? Oh, and in this one, you can make them respawn. So, doing this on the 34, if you guys, the last one I just did, it gave me 4 million, uh, like 4.5 million. And that was the 31. This is the 34. And if you guys, like I said, these are Ottomans. So, you guys should definitely be able to get in here. And if anything, you could use, like, you know, four debuffs on one gun and use, you know, your other strong gun to just do damage. Like, uh, and they respawn by the way i don't know if you guys knew that these guys respawn that's all i was saying this floor is easier for leveling i'm just recommending you guys if you guys can't complete this and stay alive then you guys have to resort to the lower ones and once you get up there just do your stats really well and like have you know just put stats into things that you need like you need debuffs you need, you know, your Arphasis. If your Arphasis has Guard Field and Power Field, you should be straight, honestly. And then Crit Form and Nanotech is just an extra. Uh, my Arphasis died. I don't know how. I guess she wasn't attacking. Sorry. And I literally just jump off the map and come back and then they respawn. They stop to, re they don't respawn after a certain point. 
so you guys will have to, you know, find, you know, something else to or like this. I could snipe this guy and then do this. Oh, oh I didn't get that kill, so. And if it's a gun, and if it's a mission like a sword, you could do literally what I just did. Make it weak. Don't kill it. It's the main reason why I don't like, you know, Kyoto on my squad sometimes, because he, he likes to take kills. You know, I don't care about kills, but you know, challenger quest, yes, I do care about And one stun trap should stun these guys. As long as you have the IMP, I have my IMP. It's not too high, it's like 150. And so, these guys have a respawn limit, so if you jump off, they respawn again. Oh my god, these guys are costing me. They're gonna cost me like, like, a million. Yeah, see. And really, it's it's just a recharge rate that takes forever, and that's it. I'm gonna hit crits. What the heck? Oh my god! And I believe that is uh, the most they're gonna spawn me. Oh no, they actually did spawn me more. <laughs> All right, took so long for this part, guys. I just want you guys to see the difference between the XP. And you see that? That's six million XP right there. So there's you guys' XP. As long as you can kill these guys and basically cheat to respawn them, have buffs on your offices, you guys should be able to level up quite fast. And like I said, you you can farm this like like you can just go back in and go out so there you guys go i hope you guys enjoyed the video and it helped you guys out please let me know in the comments below and if you aren't subscribed make sure to subscribe and like and comment what you want to see on my next video thanks for watching guys